Yeah. Welcome. You are now tuned in to the chain. Order, but not, not the, the one, one that you know, know. it's world chain live welcome to my channel like share and subscribe you already know grab a drink kick back and enjoy the show i drop major keys like playing piano trying to keep you on your square and i ain't talking about flannel all these other channels be lame i'm not on a panel and i see right through them dames man they open like sandals i went from vandal to scandal to businessman with a channel and i'm here to kill the game leave your trinkets and candles been a long time coming to drop this shit no plumbing and i'm hungry for success Belly won't stop rubbling. Stop watching these lame channels with no content. It's time for them to hail the king on a knee that's bent. Or they can get on both knees, pray and repent. I'm heaven sent. It's game time. I'm off of the bench. Yo, what's up, YouTube? This your boy Chaney Live coming at y'all with another vlog again. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we back again. Today I wanted to talk to y'all about something that we commonly go through. This don't just mean you, this just don't mean this person over here or this person over here. This is something that we all struggle with. We all set goals, right? And we all make plans to be successful. We all kind of <clears throat> take time out to strategically set up um, the things that we know deep in our heart is valuable that we should be doing on a day to day basis. OK, whether it be school, whether it be starting your own company, whether it be being better at managing your finances, whether it be at better at managing your health. <clears throat> fitness, all of those types of things, okay? Once we have these things in place, a lot of times we take off. The race starts and we take off running. You know, we, we, we approach our ultimate goals and everything that we need to do to succeed full force, 100%. We go at it, we give it 100%, we give it our all. We straight attack whatever it is that we put our minds to. But what seems to happen along the way? Situations take place. Okay? Circumstances change. Surprises. Things that are not in the specific plan may come about to throw you off your natural level of focus and your natural path to your map of of being successful that is okay what i want you to know is don't beat yourself up about it don't put yourself down don't get discouraged we all fall off track along the way if you are a christian and you're striving to avoid sin what they like to call it is backsliding. You may backslide. You may fall short of the glory. You know, um, if you're just trying to be successful, you may fall off, as they say, uh, lose track of the grind. You may you may fall off. You may. It's a lot of things that cause us to fall off. We may want to eat healthy, but we may have a bad day and that bad day can start to turn into a bad few days. And that bad few days can start to turn into poor eating habits for weeks. But I want you to know you are not alone in this type of situation. You are not alone in this struggle. We all fall short of the glory, if, if that's what you call it. We all fall short of our grind. With that being said, people. It is never too late. And just because you may have fell off for a day, two days, three days, a week, a month, two months, three months, six months, three years. It's never too late to pick up, 
strap your boots back on, tighten up, and get back on your grind. It's okay. We all fall short. Sometimes we don't feel like getting up. If, if you want to be in shape and if that's something that you're striving for to start working out and things of that nature, you may fall off. You may start off strong for three weeks, three months, six months, and you may lose focus. You may lose track. You may fall off. It's not the amount of times that you fall off that's important. What's more important is the amount of times that you get back up Start fighting and start striving towards your goals again. Do not get discouraged. Do not lose focus. Do not beat yourself up. Do not create doubt. Negative thinking. Continue on your path to your goals and achievement. Get back up. I'm telling you from my own personal experience, today is a new day for me, okay? There are things that I started to develop in. There are things that I started to grow in. I said I want to read more. I said I want to focus more. I said I don't want to, I don't want to, I want to be, I don't want to be as lazy as I could be. I don't want to lay around and not do things as much as I normally would and you know what started on a strong path I don't want to have the negative thoughts that I have I don't want to have the distracting thoughts that I've uh, developed over the years I want to clean my mind I want to clean my body I want to clean my thinking I want to purify my spirit if you will With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, even Cheney Live, your, your, your president, your spokesperson, has fallen short of the glory, has fallen short of the path that was set forth, has fallen short of my goals, of the things that I know that I need to be doing to get closer and closer to my level of success. success. You are not alone. So if you will join me, today is the 30th. Today is September the 30th, y'all. I'm going to take a look at something real quick. And you know what? Even today, I was late. I, I was lazy about something. Not everything. I still got a lot of things done. But is there still some things I, I, I had time to do and I knew I should have done them and I did not do them. So you are not alone. But what I will tell you, today is September the 30th, okay? I'm going to pull up my calendar. Tomorrow is the 1st of October. If you will join me, let's go. Take the opportunity tomorrow to start fresh. I want you to pull out your list of all the things that you have been wanting to do. I want you to pull out your goals. I want you to revisit those things. I want you to look back over them. I want you to refresh. If you have a spiritual um, um, belief, I want you to pray. Okay? And I want to take this opportunity starting tomorrow to get back on track, back focus, putting down those things that are a distraction, picking up those things that we set in our hearts and minds to do. And let's start a new, fresh start beginning towards our path to greatness. Spiritual greatness, physical greatness, mental greatness, all of it. Let us do it now. Let us do it today. Today is your cheat day. The last two days were your cheat days. 
The last two months were your cheat months. The last two years were your cheat years. It is time for us to get back on track. Let's do it together. You are not alone. I have fallen short. You have fallen short. Let's pick up the pieces and let's get back on our grind and let's get the job done that we are, have set forth to do, that we were called to do. If you want to read more, let's get the books ready. If you want to pray more, let's drop to our knees. If you want to physically get in more health, okay, let's start eating properly, okay. If you want to physically get in shape, let's start walking, even if you just got to start simple. You may not be able to go and just start hitting the weights and, you know, all of the big things that you were doing before you fell short. 